Samsung is holding its developer conference like every year, but this year, something super exciting has been revealed by the company. You're watching Inner Today Tech, I'm Rahul Sethi, and in this video, I'll tell you everything we know about Samsung's latest foldable phone. So Samsung unveiled the foldable phone at the developer conference, but it did not show everything about the device. I mean, it was showed in a very dim light and many of the things were not revealed but it made it clear that a foldable Samsung phone is coming next year. The foldable device known as the Galaxy F right now is a phone that unfolds to give you a tablet-like form factor. When it is folded, it has a screen outside that allows it to be used as a regular phone. This display outside has a 4.58 inch size and has an 840 is to 960 resolution with 420 dpi of pixel density. When it's opened, it reveals a 7.3 inch display with 4.2 is to 3 aspect ratio and a resolution of 1536 is to 2152, having a similar pixel density as the outer display. So the resolution of the screens is nothing amazing, but the displays fold and unfold. And that in itself is quite surprising. I mean, it's the first Samsung phone that's made that way. And Samsung has built a lot of materials new and innovative materials to achieve this. Regular glass is not really foldable and when you fold it or bend it, it will break. Samsung says in fact it has replaced a lot of new layers compared to a regular display to make it foldable. Previous concepts that we have seen leaves a loop at the one edge which really makes it very difficult to hold it like a normal phone when it's folded. That is not the case with the Samsung Galaxy F. I mean, when you fold it completely, you get a bar-like shape so that you can use it as a regular phone. Samsung has also collaborated with Google to develop a new user interface to be used on the foldable phone. And there are two aspects about it. First is that the interface will have apps laid out differently compared to the previous one and will give you much more usability on the foldable device. So that you can use all the area of the tablet form factor to multitask, browse and watch movies. And the second part is app continuity. Samsung talked about it on the developer conference and said that whatever app you're using on the outside screen will automatically continue to run on the inside when you open the display. Now Samsung has shown a working prototype of this device at the developer conference which means that it's coming. And Samsung also says that it will be able to mass produce the device within next three months so we can expect to buy the smartphone next year when it comes up with other Galaxy smartphones like the Galaxy S10. But there are still several questions that remain unanswered. Now this new material or the new display as durable as glass and will it be able to survive scratches or falls like other normal smartphones or tablets? And secondly and more importantly, will the phone pack all the latest and greatest hardware that Samsung bundles with its premium smartphones like a great camera, a great chipset, fast charging and good battery backup because the phone is small and it's powering a big display. So a lot will be expected of its battery as well. But Samsung really doesn't seem to be concerned about that because it says that it's laying the foundation for the next upcoming generation of much more advanced foldable smartphones. And we have to agree. Do let us know what you have to say about this foldable smartphone in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos on technology, smartphones and other gadgets like this. Thank you for watching.